going on guys and today I'm doing a little something different as you guys know I go to the University of Kansas I am a junior currently and I wanted to I'm writing for the University Daily Kansas which is the university paper for the opinion section and I wrote a thing called why Kansas Jayhawks struggle to transition to the NBA and that is what I want to talk about so comment down below I want to hear your opinions why do you guys think Kansas Jayhawks struggled to transition to the NBA. And I will be using basically all this information is just for former Kansas Jayhawks who played under Bill Self. Because if you look farther down, you know, they've had more success. But basically, since Bill Self has taken over, with the exception of the Morris Twins and Joel Embiid, no one really has blossomed into what they were supposed to be. Like Andrew Wiggins is considered to be the worst number one overall pick that isn't a bust. So I want to hear your thoughts down below and let's get right into it. In the last 15 years, Kansas Jayhawks fans have seen most of their former basketball stars struggle to transition to the NBA, albeit with the exception of the Morris Twins becoming suitable role players and Joel Embiid becoming arguably the best center in the NBA depending on who you ask. Perry Ellis, Frank Mason, Sharon Collins, Julian Wright, Wayne Simeon, Darnell Jackson, Josh Shelby, Josh Jackson, Kelly Oubre Jr., Devontae Graham, Devon Dotson, Yudoka Zabuki, Andrew Wiggins, Cole Aldrich, Darrell Arthur, Tariq Black, Mario Chalmers, Chip Dialu, Xavier Henry, Thomas Robinson, Jeff Withy, Tyshawn Taylor, Cliff Alexander, Tyrell Reed, Diedrich Lawson, Sasha Khan, J.R. Giddens, and Brandon Rush. Those are just 28 of the numerous former Kansas Jayhawks who currently play in the NBA, at least played a few games in the NBA or were drafted since 2005, which was Bill Self's second season. Bill Self for years has run a traditional basketball set with his front court being traditional back to basket bigs, tenacious rebounders, interior enforcers, and low post scorers. Think Joel Embiid, Yudoka Azambuki, and Jeff Withy. Typically, they are paired with an athletic wing, such as Andrew Wiggins, Kelly Oubre Jr., and Ochai Ajabaji. That is, those wings can run the floor very well on transition. They have elite athleticism. They can stretch the floor with a three-point shot. They can defend equally as good as they can score. And usually they are the primary or secondary scoring options depending on their counterparts. If like, you know, if who's the center? Like when Joel was there, he was getting a lot of touches. He wasn't even the primary scorer, but still like depending on who the other players are, if, if the wing is a freshman or not, or if he's a star, it depends on the high rock, hierarchy of seniority and plus like how they were rated as star recruits and their scoring ability, who's the scorer. Their backcourt is usually two smaller guards with drastically different skills. The point guard is frequently the primary facilitator and the best shooter on the floor. For example, Frank Mason the third, you know, Devon Dotson, Sharon Collins, you know, guys who can just do a little bit of everything. And then finally, the shooting guard, Mario Chalmers, Marcus Garrett, Devontae Graham are commonly the team's best perimeter defender, secondary playmaker, and the second or third scoring option, depending on how dominant their wing or big man is in that year. Bill Self emphasizes playing hard, ha smart, and having fun while you're doing it. Bill Self's teams have been incredibly successful and have had numerous players drafted into the league. And, you know... A lot of them have even cracked into the league by going undrafted or going overseas and coming back. Except for, you know, Joel Embiid. None of those players have become superstars. Like I said, Andrew Wiggins is the worst number one overall pick that isn't a bust. And he really has became the guy he is because of low basketball IQ, low, terrible basketball instincts, and a fragile ego. On the other hand, Kelly Oubre Jr., Josh Jackson, and Xavier Henry were all five-star recruits. As well, they were all lottery picks similar to Andrew Wiggins and had NBA scouts suggesting that they all oozed with superstar potential and one problem with every former Jayhawk that they encounter in their NBA transition is shooting, which seems to be the common denominator in these players' games. With the accession of Svi, Brandon Rush, the Morris Twins, every other Jayhawk has been an inefficient, inconsistent three-point shooter and scorer in their careers in the NBA. I believe this is due to Bill Self's reluctance list to accept the three-point shot as a vital asset in his offensive scheme. Currently, through four games, KU ranks 338, tied with Georgetown University in three points attempted with only 65 so far in the 2021-2022 to college season. With the NBA game becoming ever more small, spaced, and reliant on three-point shooting, Bill Self is limiting his players' potential in the NBA by hindering their three-point shooting ability. 
Instead, Bill Self would rather have his players score via the paint by dunks, layups, putbacks, or drawing fouls. They pair this offense approach with a pesky, switchable, versatile defensive scheme that relies on switching, trapping, and forcing a bad shot selection. This coaching style is ideal in the college game as those are the most efficient shot selections you can find in basketball, but floor spacing, consistent, and efficient scoring are king in the modern era of the NBA. A good, reliable offensive player is harder to find in the NBA than a well-coached defensive player. You can't teach shot creation, confidence, and basketball IQ, but you can keep teach hard-nosed defense. This is why offense gets paid and defense doesn't make as much. Josh Jackson, Kelly Uber, Andrew Wiggins, Xavier Henry were dominant perimeter defenders in college while possessing elite athleticism and showing that they could have elite scoring potential. They were drafted high because NBA scouts believed that their scoring ability could develop into a consistent and efficient manner to match their defensive abilities, which would help them become two-way threats for their respective teams. Similar problems plagued Mario Chalmers, Devontae Graham, and Frank Mason III and they were fantastic defenders in college. Still, they weren't physically imposing enough to continue to be that good of defenders at the next level in the NBA. As well, neither of them developed the reliable shot to complement their games as they were elite passers or scorers to begin with. They weren't, okay? So, former Kansas Jayhawks struggled to struggle to transition into the NBA due to their lack of preparedness for Bill Self. As a result, We've seen multiple former Jayhawks, such as Quentin Grimes and now Bryce Thompson, transfer to a different program and become better prepared for the NBA. Bryce Thompson looks way better, shooting way better than any. Quentin Grimes became a first-round pick when he wasn't going to be one if he stayed at Kansas. Bill Self chooses to train his players and prepare them for what's best for the Kansas Jayhawks and not for their careers. That's why Bill Self has a lifetime contract with the University of Kansas, because he gets the wins. His job is to develop players to continue to be one of the best college basketball programs in the nation not be an nba one dumb pipeline like kentucky duke and gonzaga so i want to hear your thoughts down below do you guys agree with me that's basically it